Hi, I'm the Global Runner, and today I'm going to give a rundown of Adidas Road running shoes and rank them from worst to best, in my opinion. Now, I'm only going to look at shoes that I have reviewed myself and have used myself, so I'm not going to look at that big fat Adistar thing. I didn't use that, and I haven't used those 4D running shoes or whatever they're called, which presumably run you into the future. So, first on the list, which is not the good place to be, fifth, so the worst shoe that I have tried in the last 12 months from Adidas is the following. No surprise here if you've seen my other video about shoes I regretted buying. This is the Boston 10. Now these were originally $180, but I got these in a half price sale, a Black Friday sale last year. So I actually got them for $90, which is not a bad price at all, but I've barely run 40K in these. They really did not work for me. They were such a big departure from the previous Boston, completely inflexible. I just didn't get along with them. A lot of people have told me to persist with this and told me that this will soften up. Um, and so I am going to give it a go, but this is number five on my list and the worst of the five Adidas road running shoes that I've tried in the last 12 months. So next on the list and number four is the following shoe. The Adios Pro 2. Now I have a bit of sympathy for this shoe. Um, this is not a bad shoe. I do feel like it has been made redundant by another shoe on the list, which is number one on the list. And so I have a bit of sympathy for this shoe um, because it's definitely not a bad shoe. It has just, in my view, been made redundant by another shoe on the list. So uh, let's move on to the next shoe, which is number three on the list. And that is this one, the Takumi Sen 8. This uh, is a shoe that I've not run a ton in, but I've really enjoyed what I've done. It's quite a specific shoe. Um, like if I think I was racing a 5K, I think I would still go with something like the Vaporfly. This is probably the perfect track session shoe. Um, they should be $230, but I got them for $170 in a sale. They're a good shoe. Uh, I really enjoy running in them. Uh, the reason they're not higher in the list is because they are quite specific in terms of what you can use them for. And so really um, sort of shorter stuff is, is really where I'd be using them. So the next shoe on the list, number two, the second most enjoyable shoe that I've had in the last 12 months from Adidas is this one. The Adios 6. Again, there's an Adios 7 that's out, so this is uh, out of date now, but this has been a super fun shoe. Should have been $160, but I got it for $80, again, in the Black Friday sale from last year. Um, it's got some Light Strike Pro foam, but this is a super fun shoe. You can see it's prone to getting a few rocks caught in these little grooves here, but this will last a long time, and I've had a ton of fun in this. This was my treadmill shoe for a very long time. So great shoe. And that just leaves us with shoe number one. What is the shoe that I have enjoyed most from the Adidas lineup in the last 12 months? And you've probably guessed, it's this one. The Prime X. This is a shoe that really surprised me. Every time I put this on, I have an absolute ton of fun. I think this is designed for longer distances, but faster distances. They require you to run in a particular way. They're almost like those ski boots that tell you if you're, you know, you're leaning too far one way or you're leaning too forward. This requires you to run in a particular way and it's a fast way and it really gets you on your toes. I know this has a lot of critics and I was having a discussion with someone in the comments section of a previous posting about this shoe and that person said that it, it's not the best in every category but it is uh, super fun and I have to agree with that. I liken this to buying like a Porsche SUV, which I haven't done, but I imagine if you buy a Porsche SUV, you spend a ton of money on it, like you would with this shoe, um, and people will laugh at you. People will say, that's not a sports car, it's not fast enough to be a sports car, it's not practical enough to be an SUV. 
you know, why have you bought that? But when you drive it, I imagine that it is super fun. And it's the same with this shoe. Like this shoe is not the fastest shoe that you'll run in. It's terrible on the treadmill. It, um, there are more cushion shoes like the Invincible, but this shoe is just an absolute ton of fun to run in. I have had so much fun in this. And ultimately, isn't that what you want out of a shoe? I know you can't race in it, but it's just super fun. So there's my uh, list of shoes that Adidas road running shoes that I've tried over the last 12 months and ranking them from worst to best. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Let me know if you've tried any of these shoes and you, if you agree with my assessment. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to mash the like button. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.